MP rebels like uh, Alicia Odiambo, they, the, they were the people who went to the state house. I said, I'm just displaying the photos. You are seeing Alicia Odiambo. So Alicia Odiambo is coming out and bring political confusion in ODM. But I am very much aware of his speech. Is that it is either he has been sent by the, the so-called cartels in Kenya Kwanza administration to do away with ODM party, which is impossible, or is just cloud chasing, or is regretting. And lastly, he has found ground to be hostile to him. Now he wants to beg Raela through indirect speech. There's been a, a lot of ululation and a lot of intricate moves in the party ODM. I am asking the party ODM. I know the party leader has called for delegate, has called for central committee meeting on Wednesday. I'm aware. I'm asking of them. Central committee cannot be more powerful than NEC, according to the constitution. What I want them to do, let them call for national election. Let them call a national delegate conference. I, as a leader, I am sure I will be the deputy party leader of ODM as Raila moves out. And I want to ask my competitors, this is, is about persuasion. Let us use the art of persuasion to persuade delegates to vote for you. There is no war. ODM will still remain, but what I refuse to agree, ODM as a party, cannot be led by our brother lawyers. Oparanya is a lawyer. Sifuna is a lawyer. Mba, uh, Wandai is a lawyer. It is not possible that the party can be led by lawyers. This party must be led by the people of the Republic of Kenya, which include people from the coast, people from northeastern, people from central province, people from Rift Valley, and more importantly, people from the larger Lunyanza. And I want to ask Madi, as a nominated member, I heard the other day he came to game, talking carelessly. Is he a, nom a mere nominated member? He didn't win election. He was beaten by Wanga. Gladys Wanga. You know, I, I would respond to a man who has not been beaten by a woman in terms of competition for an elective post. But I will not, I will not talk about bad because Kabake Maloui in the Choma Flomanade. But I am glad, on the other hand, Gladys is doing a better job than all governors in Nyanza. Gladys is performing than all governors in Nyanza. These people you see here went through the same journey you are undergoing now. And as you are seated here, single other day in this world, we will hear on William Samuel Ruto, His Excellency, is proposing Musala Munavadi to be the presidential candidate. Take it to the nearest bank. As other polit political analysis, they are saying <laughs> that Musala Munavadi is going to be endorsed by Ruto. That is daydreaming. I mean, let's be frank, that Gadi Gashawa is going to be the next president in the Republic of Kenya. That is a very much confidence. Unless the way people humiliated Ruto saying, Oh, Ruto hakuna pali anaenda. Raisa ni president. So these people always plan. They are just buying them to each other for you to see that, Oh, hawelewani tufuke pande ingine. Ukifuka pande ingine, washa panga njia ingine ya kurege election. That is the aim. For now, let's divert our attention on Musalem Davadi's remarks as I have just displayed that clip. Number one, Mdavadi wants to join Kenya Kwanza. When he says, when he said earthquake, it means that he must join Kenya Kwanza this year. He wants to dismantle his party and join Kenya Kwanza. That is the earthquake Mdavadi is speaking about, nothing else.
or he might have interest on regarding Ashago and tells him when it's come to 2032, please consider me. Or he want to dismantle ANC party and come out with another party. Because I don't see where Mdavadi is going to, 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 to escape this time around. Ruto cornered them, all of them. They were cornered like, like, uh, uh, like cows in the cow shed. They were all regrouped. Salam Davadi, Moses Wetangula, Raila Odinga. You remember those team, Pentagon. So they have been all regrouped. They don't have room to escape. The owners came again to Piana Sema. Oh, at Raila and and Ruto, wanafanya ile kitu to do away with the people of Central. They are daydreaming. Because Kashagwa is a man of his own. He is aware of whatever is happening in the politics. He can't allow that. I mean, let us stop judging early judgment. These early judgments are the things which always, always uh, dis uh, disagreed to us. Things that make us not to sit down and go for election and choose a better leader for tomorrow. So, Mselem Davadi bombshell is clearly telling Kenyans that he want to join Kenya Kwanza. Nothing more but to join Kenya Kwanza. Because Ruto, if Ruto will let, let us see that Ruto endorsed Mselem Davadi, where will, he, where will he get votes? Where will he get votes? Kama Central ndiyo wakona kura. Gashako anayenda kutuku pata shida deputy. Hiyo tu. But for the meanwhile, he's going to come up with the deputy. He said I'm going to come up with the deputy from Rift Valley or Nyanza. Nyanza he can pick from Kisi or Luo. Ama western, tuseme kitu kama hiyo. As I had said, maybe mudavadi. So this, this, this mudavadi, msale mudavadi's remarks is just buying of time. That is a little threatening to the politics of today we are. <laughs> and that is whatever I can say, and that is whatever I can analyze more and more. That msale mudavadi is going nowhere. That is why Ruto made him to be the foreign affairs to concentrate and not to be in active politics. Kwa ni mnakuwa mnagani Ruto ni mjinga? Kutoa Alfred mtuwa na kueka msale mdavadi? He knew that mdavadi could have come with several political earthquakes. And that earthquake is the one which he have said. Let's wait in the two weeks steps. That is that kind of earthquake. But as, I've said, as I have said, believe me or not, it's going to come and join Kenya Kwanza. And that will be the very worst mistake Salam Dabad is going to do. It's going to be swallowed life. And will never again wake up. It's going to be muted forever. If he join Kenya Kwanza. But kwa sababu wa jielewi, kuna muta nampea advice, this advice might be clear for Malala is friend, trying to convince him. And Malala is a close associate friend to William Ruto. So they don't want Mdavadi to, to, to come uh, up in large numbers in western Kenya. They want him to, to be dethroned and work with the people like Moses Wetangula. Work with the people like Lefas Marala, Didmas Baras, uh, and, and, and the rest I don't want to mention, like Echesa. That is the aim. Remember, politics is just number of cards, ladies and gentlemen.
So they have reached an extent of convincing Mr. Alem Rafael. Allow me to end this polit a political analysis today. But before I end it, I end it. Kindly, if this might be your first time watching me as I'm Kenya TV YouTube channel, I request you do me a favor, take a one second and click that subscription button and subscribe to our channel. After you've subscribed to our channel, watch, like, share and give us your opinion. Thank you very much for watching me and bye bye as you hope to meet on another political discussion.